This one's going to be on Plowshare. Basically, it's a command line version to download uh, hosting sites. Uh, for example, like Mega Upload, RapidShare, uh, Mediafire, and all that. I actually do recommend it for like uh, if you want to download like maybe like one or two files really quickly. Uh, it's actually really convenient if you're using like a drop down terminal or something. Um, you know, all you do is bust it out and type it in what you need to do. So let me show you. Uh, you can actually do like multiple files too. So let me show you both of those. All right. Anyways, uh, we have a file here, and instead of filling out the capture code and everything, we're just gonna copy the link. Let's see here, copy the link. And then bust out a terminal here. And all you gotta do is type in plow down for downloading it. And you know, just paste in the link that you want to uh, download, right? So paste in that sucker. And what this is gonna do is just gonna wait for the time limit and fill out the capture code and everything for you, and it's gonna download it. Um, I believe for Mega Upload you can use your paid account if you have a paid account. Otherwise, I use the free account. All right. Uh, what else is here? Oh yeah, if you want to download like uh, from a list of links that you have, you actually have to make a text file. All right. So we have a text file here, and inside it is just basically either Mega Upload links or RapidShare or whatever uh, they support, and just paste it in there one line at a time. Uh, all you gotta do now is uh, let me see, bust out a new tab here. It's all you gotta do is uh, let me see, type in plow down dash m, and then just um, let me see, move this this text file in here, and that's all you gotta do. And then it will just uh, download it uh, like one at a time. Let me give you an example. The other one's finished. So let me download this one. So it's gonna do the same thing. It's just that. Um, it's gonna download one at a time and it comments out all the ones that is finished or all the ones that is completed uh, and the one that's not completed is gonna be you know I'll give you an example when it's done though so basically if it's done it'll give you like this little you see hash sign or the pound sign um, that's how it's gonna do it All right. so that's pretty much it I actually do recommend it if um, you know you're looking for a command line app and uh, you want it lightweight because the GUI apps are usually you know the good ones are in Java and I, I really hate Java but that's all they got but this one is actually really convenient if you want to download like uh, probably one or two files maybe not like a, a whole list because it's not really that convenient but this is what it looks like when you're downloading right you see that's really quick and uh, it's marked it as the pound sign like I said so if you actually look at the list now uh, you see it commented out the, the file and then it's gonna move on to the next one which is doing right now pretty much that's the program uh, as far as the, what they say they support <coughs> let me see here uh, this thing um, sometimes it changes because you know the hosting files um, you know they try to change their code so there, there won't be any programs to do these type of things uh, so d if it doesn't work, like let's say with RapidShare or anything, uh, then it doesn't work. So you have to wait until they update their, uh, you know, their support for it. And as far as the extra commands that they have here, they do have some other ones. That's not really that important. You know, only the two that I show you is actually really important because you want to download some stuff. But you can actually upload or delete and all that. Not not a big deal. But if you want to learn the commands, I'll post you this link here. Uh, that's pretty much it for Plowshare. I actually really like it. Uh, that's it for this one.